हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द इंडियन डेव एंड आई एम आयुष सो गाइज इफ यू आर न्यू हीयर देन प्लीज मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल आई एम कॉन्स्टेंटली पुशिंग द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू वेब डेवलपमेंट एंड सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट सो इन दिस सीरीज लाइक दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर रिएक्ट जे एस दैट वी विल बी लाइक मूविंग फ्रॉम दिल फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक्स एंड वी विल मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द एडवांस टॉपिक ऑफ रिएक्ट जे एस सो दैट वी कैन मास्टर रिएक्ट जे एस इजीली सो प्रीवियसली इन द वीडियो आई जस्ट क्रिएटेड अ रिएक्ट एप यूजिंग द एन पी एक्स क्रिएट रिएक्ट एप कमांड एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी going to have the walk through over the project directory and the project structure of that particular project that is first app so it is always like necessary that we are planning or we are managing our project directory structure in such a way that uh, our project structure should be modular and uh, like any new developer who is working with you can easily identify the stuff that uh, that belongs to that particular directory so we will be like making this project or we will be making our all of the our project uh, like very modular and in terms of uh, like file management we will be like uh, kind of improving our directory structure day by day so this is the like first step structure that has been created by npx create react up command i just ran this project using npm start command and it's already running on my local host now if we uh, like uh, look into the directory structure but before that i just wanted to mention that i am using here the webstorm that is an ide and like in the series we will be using webstorm and vs code like as uh, ide and code editors so i would recommend you all that uh, you should use vs code that because that is free to use and uh, i guess uh, that is very uh, lightweighted so it won't affect your system uh, while uh, webstorm is a paid software so i would recommend that you should use vs code if uh, you are comfortable with that and uh, the reason why i'm using webstorm in this video because the directory structure is way more clear in this particular ide so yeah like in this first step you can have a look that we are having node modules directory we are having public directory we are having source and some file related to git and readme so like uh, i will uh, start with this readme file so this is the file that you will be uh, like that this is a very necessary file that we must have in uh, our projects because this is the introduction to your project or we can say to the repository because we will be pushing our all the projects over to github or maybe like bitbucket or gitlab whatever the vcs you are using so like this is very necessary like if i uh, like provide you the basic example of this like this is the repository instagram bot and javascript so here you can have a look that um, like um, by opening this link you will be here on this repository so like if you have mentioned anything in the readme.md file then it will be very very much visible on the very first page of this particular repository so you can have a look like you can define anything here maybe for the like uh, running your application for uh, we can say the configuration of that particular project yeah so in this way readme file is pretty much uh, like important to us in the project development or we can say the web development now the thing is uh, next thing is this package.json file so as uh, the file suggests that it is the package.json file so this file will be having the the json of the packages that has been used in this particular project and now this and this git ignore file like as the name suggests this is the file where you can list out all the all the directories and the files that you don't want to commit over the uh, over the github or maybe the git repository that you are pushing to so yeah like uh, here you can uh, have the example that node modules is written here so you can identify that node modules is kind of like blurred out from the directory structure because the git will not be pushing it to or will not be committing it to the remote repository the reason is like i cannot uh, push all the modules all the node modules to the uh, to my github because it is it is the heaviest package uh, in the, in the project so like every time uh, i i take the check out of this particular project then i'm going to install all the dependencies again and uh, that's why we will not be pushing this node modules to to the remote repository now uh, like these are the uh, here you can uh, like uh, mention any file and that will be ignored from the git itself 
so that was all about git ignore now another file is yarn.log file so we need not to do anything with this file because this is an auto generated file and we need not to uh, like uh, do anything with this because this is just the versioning uh, uh, i can say the maintenance of the versioning of the library that has been added to this particular project so all the things all the modules that has been used for these libraries uh, uh, are available here like the version history is available here so this is the yarn.log file that has been automatically created when we are installing the dependencies to the project so we have covered all these files now i can move to that public folder so public folder is a kind of the folder that is uh, like exposed to the client client end we can say because if you can uh, go here and just click on the inspect uh, option uh, of this browser then you will see that at the end there is no react application there is a single html page so we all know like uh, back to basics that at the end everything is html for a web browser so here you can see this is the index.html file now we can see here that index.html file is under the public folder because th this is the file that has been exposed from our react application so you can uh, see that uh, this is the same file that is present over here yeah this is html file template if you open so the content is same so we can identify that this is the file that has been rendering on the browser now the thing is uh, what else is available in the public folder in the public folder we are having this file manifest.json file so if you are uh, like comfortable with the app development or uh, anything like application development then this terminology manifest is for the identification or we can say the metadata of that particular website so like uh, all the metadata for this website or this web application is available in this manifest.json file here you can see that uh, short name name and the icons icons in the sense the favicon icon that is uh, available over here you can see this icon so all those uh, things can be like uh, declared here the theme color the background color so such kind of uh, like content you can define in this manifest file like uh, like for example if you are sharing any any of the link over the whatsapp or over the facebook then you will uh, like uh, get a small description about that website automatically that is the data that is coming from here this manifest file this data can also be visible from the inspect option and if you go to the application segment then you will find this manifest thing so here all the data all the information about this this particular website is available so this was all about the manifest file other than this we are having the favicon icon we are having the logo that is like uh, rotating over here in the web application and this is again the uh, like logo for uh, the bigger screens maybe yeah so uh, we have covered all the things here and the last thing is uh, robots.txt so robots.txt is kind of like uh, uh, if uh, any any website is there then google gonna crawl that uh, for showing the result similar to like uh, similar to google all other like we can say all other search engines are crawling our websites to show the result over the over the search uh, like options so from here we can define that which uh, like which particular search engine or which particular website we need we need to like disallow so we can configure such kind of stuff here in this robots.txt file so yes like this was all about the public folder of this project so public folder like we need to keep in mind that all the things that has been uh, like exposed publicly we need to keep that inside this particular public folder like we will be having the images over here we will be having the index.html file here yeah that's it now moving to the source part so this is the main uh, directory where we will be defining our react and js applications code so here you can have a uh, like look that we are having the css file we are having the js file we are having the test files so yes like uh, for the beginning like uh, if i you know, like keep the convention in mind that index.html file is the very first file so that's why index.js file should be the very first file for this particular project so yes here you can have a look that uh, this is the this is the file that is connecting to our html document and uh, showing or rendering some kind of application that uh, like the code we will be discussing in the next videos so yeah like from here the app has been uh, rendered to this uh, html document and uh, for app it has been imported from app dot like uh, this app dot js file i guess so yes this is the app dot js file that has been rendered over 
the web browser so here you can uh, have a look that uh, the things are the same added source app.js and save to reload so here you can see the text is similar so this component that is visible over the uh, web uh, web browser it is totally dependent on on this app uh, like app component so like if i remove this and just write here that learning react with the indian dev and if i just press uh, the save button like control s if you are using windows or command s if you are using Mac macintosh so you you can you can have a look that the text text has been changed automatically the learning react with uh, the indian dev like we can do we can do anything from here and we just need to press the save button and the text will be like updated over this particular browser yeah you can have a look that uh, the text has been updated so this is the app component that we are using other than this we are having some styling files where the styling or we can say the css is available and yeah like this is again the styling these are the test cases test cases we need not to worry about as of now like test cases are the files or we can say the tests to make sure that our application is running uh, like perfectly in future whenever we are doing any kind of changes so yeah like this is uh, again for the testing purpose this is for some web vitals so we need not to worry about these things so this is very basic this is very basic uh, directory structure that has been created by uh, we can say the npx create react app command now our uh, like challenge or we can say our target our goal is to make this particular uh, project or project directory a way much more uh, modular so that uh, we can have the identification of the modules identification of the managers identification of the services identification of the containers con components and much more stuff will be there uh, while we will be developing the application so yes uh, like this was all about the project directory structure or the the uh, basic introductions to the files and the directory in the application so yes like i think i have covered everything for this video we will be like uh, uh, meeting soon in the next video and we will be covering some more stuff with react.js uh, in this particular react.js tutorial series of 2021 yeah thank you for watching this video guys thank you very much and uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel the indian dev